Hey, this is Matt once again. What about you on the video? There's another paid request this time for Ronald. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And Ronald wanted me to react to his list of his top 10 favorite songs of all time. Man, if I ever made a list of that, that'd be really tough. Because I'd be like, I don't want to leave that one out I don't want to leave that one out that'd be a very tough list to make man before I get to this like what would it be involved in mine Vince Ticola no not Vince Ticola uh, John Cafferty Hearts on Fire for Rocky 4 that had to be in my top 10 list You Shoot Me All Night Long from ACDC that had to be in my top 10 list That's tough. Top ten. That God, that is very much tough. <laughs> but anyway, the end of the Ronald's list. Number ten, the Cars Drive. I do like that song. I remember hearing that quite a few times back to the day, going through various stores. Where they play music, uh, which I don't really hear that nowadays when I go in a store where they play music on the speakers, but like you hear songs like that, it's soothing. It's a good rep representation of the '80s. You know, Who's gonna drive you home tonight? Who's gonna do to do, do? It's all right. I thought it had a sweet beat, had a nice voice to it. Who's going to drive you home tonight? See, I can't sing for shit. But, uh, not a bad song at all. Like I said, has a nice soothing beat to it. I do like that song. Number nine, The New Order, True Faith. This is a song I haven't listened to a lot. I do know it was in the American Psycho movie. But it's not a song I heard a whole lot throughout the years. And I thought it was okay. Yeah, not a song I would listen to much on repeat or anything, but not a bad song at all. But I don't really have much to say about that one, because that one... I, I'm like, oh, that was an American Psycho, but... Other than that, I don't think I've ever heard the song in other avenues. The Your number eight is... I'm not going to be able to pronounce this band name. Eurythmics. Here Comes the Rain Again. This is one I remember hearing a lot on the radio back in the day. Um, I do like the mix of the symphony violin mixed in with the synth. So baby, talk to me, talk to me. Like lovers do. Walk with me. Like lovers do. Do, 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 boom, 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 ba, da, 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 boom, boom, boom. Like I said, it's one on the radio that you were listening to, but okay, this getting a nice beat to it. Like in the synth type of score, and then the violin mixed into it, brought, brought a nice different feel to the song, so I do like that one. These pretty decently. Number seven, Billy Idol. Rebel Yell, right, my favorite Billy Idol song is probably the song in Speed. Speed, give me what I need, yeah, grease lightning, speed on speed, speed on wheels. But I do know Rebel Yell, with a Rebel Yell, I go on, 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 with a Rebel Yell. Billy Idol definitely had that catchy, strong voice. That uh, made it fun to, to rock out to. Because you also have the song. Why Wedding? The, Billy Idol is definitely a guy that also represents the 80s. <laughs> in a good way. <clears throat> so, again, I wouldn't say it's a favorite song of mine. But I do think that's a pretty decent song. Blue Oyster Call, Burner For You, this is a song I, that's number six. <clears throat> I know I've heard this song from time to time 
on the radio. I thought it had some decent melody and guitar work. I forget how it goes though. It's like burning and burning, I'm burning for you. But I forget the the rhythm, so <laughs> that's my own fault. It's not the song's fault. But it definitely felt like a bit of a I don't know if I want to say a softer song from Blue Oyster Cult, but this seemed like their normal pastiche of music. But I thought it was a pretty good song, definitely one of their bigger hits. My favorite from that band is Don't Fear the Reaper. Don't Fear the Reaper. Which was in Halloween, was in Stephen King's The Stand from the 90s. Was at the end of the Frighteners. Uh, so Don't Fear the Reaper, again, I would say is my favorite song from Blue Oyster Cult, but Burn For You is a, a pretty decent one. Number five, After the Fire, Dear Commissar. Don't turn around, uh oh, to Commodore's tongue, uh oh, no, and tongue. What the fuck is that? Don't turn around, uh oh, to Commodore's in town, uh oh. I remember that being in a few trailers between the wedding scene and uh, not a bad song. Again, that's another song that you hear a lot on the radio. Funny enough, a lot of these songs are like 1982, 1983, 1984, 1984, once 1988. So, yeah, another song I don't mind. I don't really have much to say other than that. Uh, number four is Michael Jackson's Billie Jean, and number three is Michael Jackson's Beat It. Nice to see two Michael Jackson songs on there. You know, Billy Jean is not my lover. And of course, beat it, beat it. Of course, now whenever I think of it, I'm like, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. You know, there's a different beat it. Yeah, I, I can't help it. Maybe it's just a perverted septic tank of my brain. It's just thinking, beat it, you know. So it's a different kind of beat it. That I always think of Weird Al Yankovic, eat it, eat it, eat that shit and like it. Okay, that's not the lyrics, but still. But I do like those two Michael Jackson songs. It's definitely two of the songs I like other than Thriller from that album. But I would say there, there's, other Michael ja there's other Michael Jackson songs I do prefer personally. Uh, Man in the Mirror, They Don't Care About Us. Smooth Criminal. There are songs I do prefer. Like that one I heard recently. I forget the title. Something in Moscow. That was a nice surprise. Because I had not heard that song before. So again, there's other Michael Jackson songs I prefer. Thriller, I would say I prefer over those two. But those are two classic songs that people definitely know about. Whether you like Michael Jackson or not, people know about those songs. So, I did two good choices. Number two, Laura Bryan again, Self Control. There was another guy, I forget who it was, that also had this on their list. I don't, I don't know if it was you or. Well, obviously it's your list, but I know there was someone else that had this song on their list. Laura Bryan again, Self Control. I remember. When I first heard from a request, I'm like, this song's actually really good. Like, this song. Uh, this is a song that has some really nice guitar work. And I remember when I first heard it, thinking, and I listened to it again now, this could have worked in an 80s movie. Like, action movie or whatever movie doesn't have to be action but whatever where this would be the way it opens with this song playing in the background and it would fit perfectly 
In fact, I'm surprised this wasn't used in a movie. It would seem absolutely fitting for it. <clears throat> Unless it is, and I just don't know about it. But yeah, I do enjoy that song. Uh, I would probably say... Of the ones you listed, probably my favorite song of this 10. If I had to pick a favorite of the 10 you mentioned, it'd be that one. So, <clears throat> pretty cool choice. And number one was Two Lazarus Driven by Horses. This is another one that I swear was in another top 10 list I, I reacted to. Yeah. Goodbye, horse. Only... That way, I think in their list it was much lower down on the the list. But here, goodbye horses. To Lazarus, that was of course in Sounds of Lambs. Also in uh, Clerks Two in a certain scene, uh, tucking it in so to speak. But it's definitely a song I I know of, heard many times after Sounds of Lambs came out. Bang. Down, down there, goodbye. Oh. This is a very weird, uh, different sound for a song, but not a bad song at all. It's just anytime I hear it, I always think of Ted Levine and Sounds of Lamb, so anytime I hear the song, I think I'm going to turn around and someone's going to be stinning someone. Or put the lotion on the skin, or you get the hose again. So anytime I think that, so. It, it's hard for me to enjoy the song because again, I keep thinking any minute now, I'm going to get a phone call. You put the lotion on the skin, you did the hose again. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Ted Levine doesn't talk like that, but. So, the recap Ronald's top 10. Number 10, The Cars Drive. Number 9, New Order, True Faith. Number 8, Eurythmics, Here Comes the Rain Again. Number 7, Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. Number 6, Blue Oyster Cult, Burn for You. I'm burning, I'm bur Oh, I remember the, the... I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Do, do, do. I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Do, 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 So this is the melody and guitar. See, I had to think about it for a bit, now I remember. I'm burning, I'm burning for you. It's a good song. After the fire... I did. If you watch the Wedding Singer trailer, there's like, I know, five songs in that trailer, but this song's in a little bit of that trailer. Billie Jean Beat It, two classic Michael Jackson songs. Laura Brendan, I would say, is my favorite of the ten you mentioned. And then Good Bar Horses. Um, maybe, maybe Ronald is Ted Levine in, in Secret. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> but, uh, if so, loved in the Mangler. But, with that said, thanks once again, Ronald. Uh, I appreciate the request. Uh, really, all these songs I could listen to. There's not really a song here that I would call a bad song. So, pretty good list in my opinion. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.